Yo. Hey. Can you hear me? You listening to Hashtag W A W. What a week. What a week. Welcome back to Wow, What a Week. This week in our show, you could say we're dealing with a bit of engineering and mechanics. A one time electrical engineer who can power up funny bones, a doctor who had the energy of a high powered engine, and as usual, the political machinations in our country and beyond. Welcome back to Wow, What a Week. This is Wow, What a Week. What a Week. This kid really kicks. <laughs> Our comedian guest is in the building. He describes himself as an optimist, grabbing opportunity whenever possible. Even though he studied electrical engineering, we're glad he grabbed comedy gigs instead of wires. Please give a wow welcome to a guy who left behind power distribution to become an Ubumnandi distributor. Abuti Lolo is in the building. I didn't intro. I didn't intro the one. <laughs> My dude, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, how are you? No, I'm good, brother man. Intro is powerful. Mm-hmm. Do, do you feel like? Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm something in life. Now you can take on trickers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Lefo no lo mukwane. Hey, where did you get my name fresh? Ah, me, I don't. Oh, yo, 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 yo. That's me. That's me. Number plate. Tell us about uh, growing up in, uh, you're born and raised in Ivanda, right? Yeah. 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 So, Ivanda's a small town just like outside of Secunda. Yes, sir. So, born and raised there. I think all we knew growing up was the fact that we were going to one day all work in the mines or in Sasso. I, I was going to say, your relationship with with coal must be special. Very, 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 very. <laughs> Very, very, I'm sure, very, very I'm, I'm sure you see a dark guy, you're like, oh, he's from the mine. <laughs> <laughs> this, one is, this one is from underground. Hey, we have some of the best tablet engineers that side. I'm, I'm, I'm certain. <laughs> so how did you avoid the route that a lot of kids in Pumalanga end up taking? A lot of kids in Pumalanga, because you guys are in the coal belt, yes. end up in that industry. I was in that industry. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happened? I was in the industry and then I started telling jokes and then jokes started becoming a thing. So now the, the problem was that because I wanted to do comedy so badly, I would go to work in the mornings in Secunda yes. and then drive to Joburg and then drive back at night, go to work, come back to Joburg. In fact, the first time you interviewed me when you were still working Kum Sunari. <laughs> oh, wow. I... <laughs> 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 Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. I had I had a gig uh, in here in Joburg, yeah. but I didn't have a place to sleep, so I slept in your parking lot, and then woke up in the morning, came into studio, done the interview. You know, I thought you smelled of sleep. I'm fresh, but I smell good. No, uh, you walked into studio, I'm like, this guy smells of sleep. This one. <laughs> <laughs> I legit slept in your parking lot. And then I woke up, came into the studio, done the interview, left the interview, rushed for work. Yeah. Came back same night to do five minutes of comedy. Who's the first person you told that, okay, I'm done here? Um, I'm going to focus on comedy now. Skumba. Yeah. Skumba was the first person I told that, hey, I don't think I'm going to go back to the place next year. And yeah. he told me, no, you got to make it work. I'll leave it in my hands. That on I will do. I'll make it work. Why did you trust this Kumba process? Um, I trusted it because I also believe in my in my dopeness. Yeah. And also because I really, really wanted it. And also I was tired of the stairs at Cecil. You know? Yeah, I don't know. They're just, they're just <laughs> not my thing anymore. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Now, were you always a big guy? Always. Yeah. I was always, always, always. In fact, I'm smaller now. So the stairs at Sasol were very personal then? They were, yeah, and I felt like it's torture. Yeah. I felt like I'm in apartheid because why do all these people put in lifts? What? I feel like there's a personal punishment to me. My man, there's a whole conveyor belt system for the coal. For coal, but when, not for... Why you going to up the whole thing? <laughs> no. Uh, 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 they are wrong. Uh, they were wrong there. So what are the pros and cons of being a big guy? Uh, I, the cons is clothes. Yeah. Yeah, conscious clothes because now you, you must just wear whatever fits. So every time you see DJ Fresh wearing a t shirt, you go Google the brand yeah. and you wear it, even though you don't specifically want the brand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so if it fits him, they must have a size. <laughs> they, have to have, they have to have a size for me. The conscious one is when you're a big guy, 
You must have your own car because you can't be big and be inconveniencing people in a taxi. Oh, well. You must have your own car. But growing up, though, how did you deal with, you know, your size and public transport, for instance? I'd always make sure that I catch the next taxi where I'm first in the taxi. Ah. So I was, I was usually late for appointments because so, I had to wait. Taxi go. You had to wait for the one to, to So I can sit in the sit, seat that I want to sit in. But did they charge you double? <laughs> no, 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 it's a genuine question. No, they didn't. Because I know taxi drivers can be very funny. No, 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 they didn't. They didn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but as a big guy, because I, I, I mean, I was a chubby kid. Sure. They made fun of me. They were brutal. Yeah. How did you deal with the brutality of being body shamed? I think I think it also has to do with the fact that I, I can also throw my own punches back. Oh, yes, yes. And I can also quarter back. So it became points where the only people who take the risks are those who don't know me ah, yes. or those who feel like they have better uh, quarters than me. You know, being bullied like that yes. is how my mind became sharp. Yes. So that if you throw totally. a throwback. Totally. If you totally. throw a throwback. <laughs> you I, even, I, I even once forgot to myself and threw back at a teacher. <laughs> Mrs. Ashworth, <laughs> may her soul rest in peace. Oh. She threw a throwback. <laughs> he gave and it. I was like, Oops. <laughs> 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 I only say that I think the people that that that, that try to whether it's cyberbullying or yes. even in person yes. they don't understand how much they've impacted my comedy oh, yes. and how much better they've made it because some of the people have such amazing jokes yeah. or such amazing lines and they might think that it's such a huge insult but when you take it in you're like ah this is going to make me so rich it's like oh oh oh, oh yeah. another punchline for me <laughs> oh, like, what, be so, so rich. <laughs> what have you taken and turned it into part of material on stage that people threw at you uh their their observations of me. Yeah. Uh, the things the things that they that they say about me, I've, I've I've taken in. For for example, when they speak about how sometimes my t-shirts look like crop tops, and sure. like oh man, that's so dope. Yeah. Uh, I've taken that in. I've taken how me being from the the suburbs doesn't necessarily translate well when I go to Cassis sure. because I can be identified fast that no, this one is not from here. Sure. So such things I've incorporated into my my stand up comedy. Oh wow. Yeah. That is dope. How is sex at your size? Because I've been told I'm heavy, so I'm sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told you better use your elbows. <laughs> uh, uh, oh man, I think the sex, the sex is beautiful, man. Yeah. I think in instances where someone might be telling me that they don't feel anything, I just smack them at my stomach. <laughs> You feel something now? <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> oh my god. So the other day you posted about was it a gastric balloon yeah. situation? What is that? So uh, what a gastric balloon is it's um Small silicone pill that they make you swallow, okay, and then they fill it up with water, and okay. then it becomes a balloon in your stomach. So, the whole science behind that thing is that it, it fills your your stomach up, oh, so it communicates yes. with your brain that you're full. Yeah, to some extent. So okay. even when you are hungry, hmm. you know you're no longer fresh hungry. I hear you. You are now so easy hungry, okay. assuming he has a small appetite. For food. So means a hunger for what also? For it's, food. For oh, food. okay. You must be like your feet. So the, the, it, the, the, like your stomach communicates to your brain that sure. this man can only eat like a single burger, not oh. a double burger okay, I hear you. type of thing. So, so does it work? So far, I feel like it does work. Okay. It, uh, it has been having great impact. I just, I, hey, the diet is hectic that they put you on. Sure. So because the whole diet is they're trying to reset your whole eating system okay. where you'd re relearn sure. everything about how or about what you know about eating, okay. how to eat and things like that. So that was a bit yo. I won't lie. So some people would argue that something like that is very drastic slash maybe even desperate. Yeah. Why did you go that route? Uh I wanted to be healthier. Yeah. I, I really, really wanted to be healthier because I, I reached the point where I realized that I'm struggling on stage. Sure. And that doesn't now necessarily translate well. It's not good for money. It's not good for money. And it was, you know, it was bad. It was, <laughs> How bad did it get that you realized that, you know, forget it, I need to fix this? It got to a point where one minute on stage felt like 
I'm done. So, sure, so. Sure. And that's when I realized I need to improve my cardiovascular. So, one minute on stage, you're done. How bad was the sex then? No, I, I know, hey. Oh, there is different. I had no one to show Hey, man. Tell us the role Trevor Gumbi played in your career. Trevor Gumbi gave me my first shot at uh, a big stage. Sure. So he had he had come to, so comedy in Secunda was only when the big guys would come through and do the arena. Sure. And he he was coming through and I inboxed him and I was like, yo, I see you coming to Secunda. I'm a comedian from Secunda. Do you mind putting me on? Sure. And this man done zero research or anything. I was yeah. just like, yo, come through. And we went, so he took your word for it. Yeah, yeah, went through. We rocked, and also he gave me. Now this is what you do when you come to Joburg. Oh. One, two, three, and you'll be fine. Oh wow! Oh yeah, don't be alarmed. That's Doctor Kumalo. He's on after you. Well, I'm Doctor. Okay. Ah, to go ten. Shab kunjan. Hey, yazi kau tumvet. I'm not gonna lie to you because I've been a Doctor fan since I was 13. Yeah. I'm very nervous. You've been and, a Kumalo fan? Since I was 13 years old. And and not many interviews. Fresh, you were 13 years old? Imagine. Oh, you saw, you saw I just showed up. <laughs> I think you just can go that now at 35. <laughs> God just said go. So. <laughs> Fresh, but I mean, I'm young, so you must not have been listening to you for majority of my life so like yes, I, I, the longest part of my life I pretty much raised most of you yeah, yeah. you can call me Dave so when you say you yeah, I'm sure they do <laughs> <laughs> so, so so like I'm saying I'm, 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 I'm rarely ever nervous about an interview yeah based on how I feel about the person sure sure, sure. and Doc is one of probably less than five people that make me nervous about interviewing him because I love him and his art that much. Seriously. Who leaves you so, star Keep talking to me, myself, Limang Hap. Oh. This is just the two of you. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who leaves you starstruck in your industry? In my industry, yeah. starstruck, I think. Even though they're my brothers. Yeah. Uh, Paul Pops and Skumba. Sure. Uh, Robbie Collins, Fison and Celeste. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, Celeste, is t- she's a titan. Yeah. I love Celeste. I love her so much. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I love the dudes also. Yeah. But I just I love Celeste. And those are the people that are like, Yeah. wow. So one of the stories in the news right now is spam callers. Uh, I think they're going to readjust the Poppy, uh, the Poppy Act, mm-hmm. that soon you'll be fine for spamming us. And How do you deal with guys who call selling yeah, shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. Yeah. I, uh, those people are hating. <laughs> I think my phone rings 30 times a day. And I'm a, I'm a person who deals with booking. So, you know, when you see a normal number, you're always excited. Hey, is this a booty? Ah, yeah, my, so your, my, phone. your money's coming in. You know, in a phone call, when you just answer it and they say, hi, is this Lisa Ono? Ah, 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 ah. I don't have it, guys. It's Lisa Ono, you have a minute. <laughs> yeah, and like, uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't have it. Why, what don't you have, sir? Whatever it is that you want me to buy, I don't have the money. Yeah, yeah. So, I think it's always trying to tell them that I. I'm not interested, or I don't have the thing. I don't own a car. I don't own a house. I'm just the person in here. But yeah. you are no. I did the worst. They are they did the worst. And now worse, they 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 call you with straight cell phone numbers. <laughs> <laughs> it's no longer zero eight six. They now call you guys zero seven nine. Or oh, one oh, two. Or oh, one four. It's like oh, Pretoria <laughs> must be from last week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, once got scammed, almost got scammed for your podcast. What do you mean? Oh, when the podcast was new. Yeah. And I think there was someone who was ma- mailing people. In Some lady story. was inviting me to, to PE. To PE. And the reason why I almost bit is because I had a gig in PE that weekend. Yes, I was like, ah, yes. oh, perfect. Ah, uh, this lady was talking everything about accommodation. And I'm like, no, man, luckily I have access to Fresh. Sure. I was like, hey, guys, find out for me this thing. Ah, uh, Fresh. Is it scam? I was like, I... No, no, it was a scam. And I think the way it works, the way they do it, because they even do it with DJs. Sure. And they always say, I'm from Channel O. There's an event, I think, in Durban. They tried it with Durban, Cape Town, I think, with PE. Yeah. Is they'll tell you that they've booked your flight or something. And then there was an issue. You must do a refund. 
So when you do a refund, you're refunding money that hasn't been put into your account. Oh. You know what I mean? And I think they once clubbed Cleo like that. And Cleo, you, my man, you've been in the district. How do you fall for uh, just a re- refund us to two, two and a half grand? What do you Cleo? Bamzala Cleo, Bamzala Cleo. You've got a show this weekend. Yes. Yes, sir. What? So I'm starting a new thing at the Capitol on the Park in Santon. It's okay. called Loves at the Capitol. Sure. So I basically uh, host a comedy night with... A lot of comedians. So I have on the I have Pop Pops, Dumiso Lindy and Titi Chumi on this first one on the first. Yep. So it's big. Isn't it beautiful though that lately on the comedy lineup, it's just guys that you know are going to deliver, like everyone. Yeah. Like you, you don't walk in thinking, ah, this one might be lukewarm. <laughs> no, it's like it's don't. guaranteed. It's straight fire. I think you're going to laugh for the entire two hours or however long the yeah, show no, is. it's straight, it's straight fire. So beautiful. So, so how do you decide how you're going to curate a show? Is it based on friendships, who's cheapest, or or or, 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 or favors old? Uh, no, I work. I work with friends mostly. Yeah. My first thing is to work with friends. I, I, I honestly like to work with people that I know are not going to trouble me on the day because sure. I'm already being stressed by so many things. Mm. So my first thing when I'm when I'm setting up a lineup, I think sure. of least drama. Ah, yes. Like, okay. Uh, also, you've got a whole drama scale. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, this person I know when they come, well, Kumba's going to want to know where's my room. So I, I, I shift him down. Yeah. And then with Titi, I know Titi's just going to ask him, when I don't you have a pie for me? And I'm like, he's in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's still pie hungry. Yeah, he's still pie hungry. He's not at the right When he's not there. becoming sweet hungry, then I move him down, right? Yeah. <laughs> When, when, when a rider starts being a pilot. Yeah, when the rider starts being hectic. <laughs> when he starts knowing what is a rider. <laughs> then you know, okay, number 10. Yeah, I put him number 10. Then you start working with the others. <laughs> who do you, would you say is the funniest comedian right now? Like, who is you rolling on the floor laughing your ass off? Oh, this guy called Oscar Umoche. Yes. Uh, he's from Pushback Region, Pumalang. Sure. Very funny. Mm. Ah, very, oh, very funny. What's so special about Oscar Umoche? I think what's special about Oscar Umoche is he's a, he's, his material mm. is so simple thoughts, but yet so well done on stage. Sure. And, and how he brings in, I think he brings in such South African element because he speaks about his father and then, you know. Then he speaks about, okay, he's also a big So only a South African element. So does he have a father or does he never have a father? Oh, obviously, he doesn't have a father. Oh, okay. <laughs> he still went to buy bread. <laughs> <laughs> Till today, he's still gone to go buy bread. You know, and he also brings in a whole uh, church aspect into his uh, gags. Yes, oh, yes. It's so, oh, it's so beautiful, fresh. You, are, you need to see him. Okay, so remember the name Oscar Omushe. Yeah. From Bushback Ridge. Yeah. And Pumalang has produced some decent comedians. Though. No, we're trying, we're trying. Huh? We know we try, we try, we try. I'm sure God was like, no man, we can't just do coal miners here. <laughs> <laughs> just throw in some funny bones. <laughs> we can't just be doing engineers. <laughs> so, what kind of material do you do? Uh, I do self-deprecating jokes. Oh uh, yes. They all they. Is my comedy is just about me and taking a jab at myself. That's like low-hanging fruit, though. Yep. But I'm sure you'd eat the fruit also. So <laughs> 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 the floor hanging. <laughs> 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 You're welcome. You can use that. Thank you. Make it. <laughs> Where do we get tickets for your show? This you get weekend? tickets at Howler. Yes. Yeah, they start with 200 bucks. Nice. Uh, they are selling for us, so people must get them and come through, man. Yeah. It'll be such a, such a great time. My dude, um, I think, uh, you know, I've watched your journeys, you know, from the time I interviewed you on uh, Metro, what, five years ago almost? Four years? Yeah, um, about five years. Well, five years ago. Yeah. And I'm just loving the, the way you're just putting in the hours. You're putting in the hours. you you, you know, the material is getting better and funnier all the time, my dude. Ah, thank you, Fresh. You're not too bad yourself. Uh, and I'm trying, my man. Thank you. You know, it's, it's, it's difficult <laughs> being an unemployed radio DJ. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, man, I just wanted to shout you out and say big up, my dude. Thank you. We, we see you. Yeah. We appreciate you. And we worry that the day you lose weight, you're going to lose a job. So what are you going to do? <laughs> no, I won't lose all of it. Oh, so you're going to leave just enough? <laughs> just enough to carry on. <laughs> just enough to be able to identify as. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> the 
doctor's like, sir, we can uh, maybe reduce another. Fi-. I'm like, no. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm tired, doctor. I'm, I'm fine here. Yeah. <laughs> Remove the balloon. <laughs> 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 Lolo, I appreciate you, my dude. I appreciate you too. Thank you so much. Where do, where do you find you on social media? Abuti underscore Lolo on all social media platforms. Sure. Yeah. Abuti Lolo is about to leave the building. Remember the name. Please support his comedy. Go to Howler and get tickets for the show this coming weekend. I'll see you guys there. Please get somebody to get me out of this chair. Fuck. Crane. <laughs> oh, you forgot the crane. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? You can walk home with a chair. <laughs> walk with a chair. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> we need another chair. <laughs> you guys, always leave you guys. I'm going to leave. I'm gone. Thank you. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is... Wow! What a week. What a week. Celebrity guest. Celebrity guest. Our next guest was and still is one of the most significant athletes of our nation. He was once a player for Chiefs, but you could say he also became one of the chief players of our country. He even made his mark on the entertainment landscape by being a part of the most memorable song of the post-94 era. Yes, UPO indeed. It was said that he had the vibe, and he still does. So please give a warm welcome to 16V, Theophilus Dr. Kumalo. (laughs) Yo. Hey. My man, I've been a fan for so long. How can I? I was so nervous. I'm like, I'm about to interview Doc. Like, do you guys even understand what that means for me? I'm about to interview Doc. Yeah. Do you even understand the level of your legendary status? Or why Frustana for you? Uh, no, to be honest, no, I don't. Yeah. Um, I'm still the same old dog that grew up in the township. Sure. I'm still the same dog that... Uh, I uh, made friends with uh, different people. Sure. Um, You're still the same dog? I'm still the same. That has girls screaming. I love your children. I love your children. Tell us about growing up. Yeah. Yes, tell us about your, your childhood. Yeah, well, like, I grew up in Soweto. Sure. At Dube Village. Mm. Um, I happened to be that young boy, Wakasi. Sure. Mm. And... Uh, the only thing that was keeping us going in was soccer mm. because it was a cheaper sport. One soccer ball can be utilized by 50 boys. And it doesn't even have to be a soccer ball. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Then it is a ball. But uh, it was the only thing that was keeping us going But my journey is a sharp grand because um, I had very strict parents. For sure. Uh, the community. So I actually started playing for a local team Dube Kelis. Sure. And I went on to try for Swallows under 14s. Mm. And uh, from there because when Chiefs was playing I used to go with my little time to <clears throat> to the games. Yeah, but but a professor. Yes. So second half I stole one of the balls. Sure. Then I juggled, I juggled only to find that Prasem uh, Mutau. Mm who's a relative to the chairman. Sure. Why we waste that talent like this? Sure. Then he spoke to my dad to say, no, on Tuesday, he was to see me go Rockville where the, the academy was training. Oh, wow. So I went, uh, and then I started training. Mm. So, so so, how are you feeling that day as yeah. you're going to this? When is the light Nikile happy, yeah. nervous? So how old were you at the stage? Uh, I think I was twelve. Okay. Yeah, I was twelve. But I was going for the under fifteens. Sure. Yeah. So a lot of kids in townships across the world yeah. play soccer. Yes, yes, yes. What made you stand out, do you believe? What what <laughs> made you special at that stage? At of that the stage. Mm. I didn't realize mm. uh I was just playing soccer. Mm. 
But I, I was wondering why always when I'm in possession like this whistling. There's excitement. There's excitement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whistling. Uh, you know, they gave me different names. Sure. What, what, all those names. Mm. And mm. always when I'm in possession, sure. people were going havoc. So, <clears throat> to be honest, Fresh, mm. uh, it's not about my dad being the legend that Chiefs also. Sure. Yeah, he played for Kaiser Chiefs and Swallows. Mm. I tried something that, <laughs> and don't laugh. Mm. Um, there's a legend, uh, may his soul rest in peace, Baby Jake McClellan. Oh, yes. So, Unare Haya Jiminga Fitera Kakutubera. So, you know, like kitted always with the box and gloves and we are training. So, we were following him. Yeah, like like in Rocky. Yeah, yeah. I want to. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. you know how it is, like in Kukasi. <laughs> One who is a Turamlate. So, so we went. And uh, I, uh, he went in there. Uh, now we're outside because you can't go in. Mm. Mm. And I check at us. And we could see youngsters by a box. Sure. I had a following day. I carried to the plastic. Yeah. I had a chita lorona racket. I did it Thursday. Sure. Thursday on their program, it's a sparring day. Oh. Oh, no. I'm afraid. Oh, no. So, so, hey, hey, you can imagine. Yeah. Where are Canada? Warm up, warm up. But you, 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 the ready pairs. Sure. I had a tenure. Yeah. I don't even know the technique of blocking or punching or doing what. Mm. I just went in there because pre pressure. So, yes, yes one shot, boom, on my left eye. Mm. I then, I do, thought. Do I, you remember who you, you were in the ring with? That, that, I think that it's Tami, Tami, yeah. there's another boy, Tami Wakukasi. Sure. And then actually, he went on the mm. boxing. Sure. <laughs> so now obviously Nekuntlore something's not right. Sure. I had Fita Kuntlung around six. The time I left from training seven o'clock. So I took a nap. Mm. So I was about to go take a shower. Mm. My mama, hey, your eye, Kirki, Hajir, just a slim read. Yes, yes. And now we have to play a, I could say, do something in order. My dad mustn't see this. So he was that strict? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I didn't know then that mm. he didn't like other sports. Oh, okay. I got a shower. As I'm like stepping into the kitchen, he came to me. What happened? Come learn. Yo, 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 yo. Ah, I just saw that. Yeah. Montu yeah, there's no boxers, uh, what what no tennis player, only soccer players here. Uh, what what never again. Mm. So as from tomorrow, it's only soccer. Go to Rockville. Mm. I don't know well. The main man is spoken. Sure. Then the following week, Nikki mm. Mitsu fell up my eye to be alright. Sure. Okay, Ibe Sharpo. Because there was like a black mark also. Mm. The following week. I walked to Rockville, mm. which is plus five, five, ten Ks. Mm. I trained. Since that day, sure. up until today, I never looked back. You? Never. Mm. Life was tough. Mm. Uprising in the township, not knowing what's going on. A state of emergency also. All those things. Mm. There's so much happening in a, in a, in a day. We don't understand what is this. But a lot of kids also became politicized. Others yeah. even left the country. Yes. Where now? How did you avoid the political bug? As in what? <laughs> what a good question. Uh, nobody has asked me that before. The fortunate part, mm. uh, most of the boys, mm. Marcus Kolum, they are now uh, Coco ANC and sure. they have uh, strong, strong positions mm. as we speak. Sure. So, so what they got to get nah, what they yeah. got to get <laughs> Yeah, but I went to join. Oh, so both our Bombali, the list is endless. And mm. Zwakambuli, um, but even though he was not into that part, a little bit into politics, 
And then he was the voice at yeah. the time. Yes. But then he did the scene attack. Sure. Yeah. Uh, now, how I escaped mm. is because of soccer. Sure. Soccer, it, it was something that is like in a, in a short space. Mm. You can use, utilize the soccer or tennis ball or sure. whatever. Mm. So it was always soccer, soccer. And don't forget that voice. Mm. Yaku Kichini. Oh, yes. Or here, well, just look familiar up. soccer. Sure. So that's the reason why I, I stick to, to, to soccer. Mm. So <clears throat> to fast forward... Hey, before he signed the Chiefs, fresh. Mm. Yes, yes. Hey. In fact, before, in fact, let's 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 pause for a second. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you my story. Okay. About 1987, and then I'm gonna ask you to tell me your story. Yeah. About 1987. So 1987, I was 14. Yeah. Gilmore grade nine. Yeah. Or standard seven, as it was then, called yeah. back then. Yeah. And. In the boarding house, they knew I'm the kid with the music collection. Yeah, yeah. So I remember the first week of the year, yeah. of the term, yes. I'm sitting outside the dining room waiting for for supper. Yeah. Then the Bohona lady, who was our entertainment minister, yes, yes. comes up to me and says, listen, uh, the school DJ, who was one of the Zambian kids, so we had a lot of Zambian kids at our boarding school. Yes. The school DJ is only going to arrive on Monday. Ronaldo school disco Saturday. Saturday. And I know you've got music. Are you willing to come and DJ? Heaven. So now I just agreed. Yeah. Just, I just agreed. I was like, oh, I know how to put the music. Saturday arrives. Diarrhea. I'm scared now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Because <laughs> I've now realized what I've agreed. Yeah, to. yeah, yeah. So I remember other kids. So Saturday we were given a pass out. You could yes, sign yeah. out. Yeah. So the Seventh Day Adventists would go to church. Some of us would go to the mall or go to the movies. Yes. Now I'm in the boarding house. What, yeah. you, what the hell am I playing tonight? Yes, sir. I remember my cube mate. I said to this guy, I don't know if I can do this tonight. <laughs> but you agreed. Maybe I must ask someone else to DJ. Yeah, yeah. And he convinced me, like, no, but you've got the music. Yeah. So you've got the music, play what you want to play, and just rock that party. Wow. And I look back and I ask myself, had I run away from that opportunity? You wouldn't be what? Would things have changed or turned out differently? Yes, definitely. I know that Liu Wei and I, same, same year, yes. 1987, yeah. you almost ran away. <laughs> Tell us the story. <laughs> no, yeah, no, Tootsie. <laughs> Well, my story, 87, uh, that was the first year I signed the Elite Chiefs. Sure. I signed uh, a week before the Derby match. Yeah. And so your first week at Chiefs, at Chiefs. was a baptism of fire. Yes. Yeah. It was against Pirates. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I was meant to sign for Pirates, mm. but uh, Bobby Mutawung. Al Munyani, as young as he was, went and told his father that the the, the officials are pirates. They wanted to sign me. So because I mean you were the hottest kid yeah. in Soweto. Yeah. So obviously there's a race. There's to a sign race you. for net. Yeah. Yeah. And now it was every kid's dream to play for a professional team. Mm. So Monday morning, before I went to school. Mm. I was about to have breakfast, and I saw Prajos, who was the Kaiser Chiefs driver. Sure. And the guy wanted that he couldn't be outside with the Kaiser Chiefs. Maybe. But not deliver But not something. But not deliver part. Yeah, but not deliver Now, Prajos, he was so attached to the family. Sure. Prajos, when I say he's attached, I can get in the kitchen and grab a cup and then make himself a coffee. Mm. And you know, mommy, I'm so cheap. They what, mm. what. And that time, the boss asked him to bring me to the office. Mm. So Prajos, as Prajos, he just like took his own time. And I said, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Where are we going? I don't know, Mr. Mdawung, I'm going to go to the Now, school. But no, after that, then you go to school. All right. I jumped into the bus, went to Commissioner Street. So what, you were 17, 18 at this time? I was 16 then. 16, okay. Yeah. I jumped into the bus, went to Commissioner Street, mm. Clemson House. I'll mm. never forget. Fourth floor. 
I walked in there for the first time, mm. and you can imagine, I mean, I've been a development player, but it was for the first time walking in that uh, daddy office. Mm. I look around, I see trophies, pictures of the greatest players. I'm like, you, yeah. wow. Yeah. Uh, then I was Irene, may so rest in peace. I didn't want anything. I'm like, what, what have I done wrong? After 10, 15 minutes, Prake walks in. Yeah. And when Prake are like this coming towards me, mm. it's not him only that attracted uh, me to him. It mm. was the perfume. So. Sure. And the way I need, the I need. Mm. Hey, I'm looking at him here. Because the last time I saw Prake, I think I was three, three, sure. four. Sure. You know. But then I think he, he, he got busy and all that. He mm. never he, he came home. Uh, go, go, go higher. Mm. So about it, let's walk inside. Hey, right here, that person, uh, office in here. Mm. I'm sitting. He's sitting on the opposite side. I could see papers there, but I oh, I don't know what's going yeah. on. All he knows is he smells nice. Yeah, it smells nice. And I'm oh. sure at the time, I'm sure they were either lapidas I or think, I think it was a uh, lontus. Yeah. I, I got it. He, a shaving lotus or lotion. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, pap. Ah. Yeah. Una yes. le ona plus perfume I don't know what it is. Sure, sure. Because I remember I used that pap for mm. quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> the smell of money. Yeah. <laughs> so, upraki um, abare. Do you know why you are here? I said, no, I don't know. I don't mm. care, but... We have already agreed with your dad. Mm. There's like four pages. Mm -hmm. And then he said, sign here. I'm like, sign? Mm. How do I sign? I've never practiced your signature. Yeah. Oh, get the X. <laughs> <laughs> so I fingerprint. Oh, fingerprints. <laughs> because I mean, I mean, I'm a young boy. I can say, I don't expect to be signing contracts and all that. Exactly. So the beauty of the whole thing, how I escaped that, mm. um, he, he, I think he wrote a note mm. because the dad signed because I was still underage. Mm. So my dad signed. Mm. So I was supposed to sign underneath. Ah, yes, yes. So I didn't. Mm. So because next to practice is nature. Mm. And then in two minutes, says, welcome to the first. Even if I saw the team, mm. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. maybe yeah. something's. Oh, <laughs> welcome to the first team, boy. Oh, wow. Got a wow. Raki. I left. I forgot to. I got the whole four documents there. Oh, so, two Kikopial timer. I even forgot it. I tiptoed out of the office. Mm -hmm. I walked past the receptionist. I didn't say much. So. I walked down the street. I didn't even take a lift or an elevator. Mm. As soon as I get out there by the door, mm. yes. Yep. yes, 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 I was like, yes, <laughs> yes. And now the van, and I mean, like people, they were like, "What's going on? Yes. Who's, who's this child? Who's this child?" Yeah. I'm like, yes, yeah. yes. I, who are texting a young Kasi? Yeah. I, I even asked the driver at Crotman Zumkone. Sure. It's a front seat. Can't tell you people. <laughs> Yo, now I mean, so I'm feeling like you know. You're happy to break this. Yeah, uh. yeah, no, no. And fresh, believe it or not, pirates arrived. Kokai. Same day. Same day. Oh wow. Kapo ten. Mm. Mm. My mama, I no baba no kanga na kweki bo man. Arabul, abange na six kadi peki. Yeah. Ebara e proper man e. Robert Lawson and Tuanayao. I'll tell my lava that tell her those two pages. Yo. Artinta. Yes, yes. Barwaka and Amule. Yeah, but it's you. You love us in Belanga from Muti Church. What, what, the things we, we would have signed this point. Now look now what's happening. My mom's like, ah, take your fights outside of my house. Please. You're making too much noisy. Out. Freshie, that day. Yeah. That Monday. Sure. I, I couldn't sleep. Uh, I always I looked up, like a camera window, looking at the stars there, the moon, and I'm saying, 
is it true? Sure. Hey. Yeah. Is it true? Is mm. that's me? Mm. I only believe the dream or it's happening mm. when they came back on Tuesday. I'm no longer walking to Rockville. Sure. Now being fetched. On the transport. Kohai. Yeah. To training in town. Sure. But the sad part that I want to take you back mm. a year before I signed for Chiefs. Yeah. You know I was walking from Dube to Rockville. Mm. Six months before Keto sign, mm. I had a plastic bag that had soccer boots, shin guards, shorts, mm. and a jersey. Very small shorts. Yeah. <laughs> Very small shorts. Very small shorts. <laughs> so as I was walking, like probably 10 mm. young boys approached with the dogs. Mm. Yeah, son, where are you going? Hey, give us that plastic bag. Mm. I saw them like, no, man. Hey, Pella, this is my training gear. Mm. And then obviously they were... They took the plastic, and then they took one soccer boot, mm. one shin pad, yeah, both pair a pair of socks, mm. and then the jersey they left with the short. Mm. And then they smacked me twice or three times because yeah. I didn't have cash. Sure, I walked. Well, you broke, you say. So I broke when I saw no na mali uya pi when uba ando na pa. Hey man. I am like, hey, and then that time, if I want to fight back, mm. the, the Baba Bob buys a saga danger. Sure. So uh, then they walked, I walked. Mm. I didn't go back home. Sure. I went to training mm. with, with no training gear now. Mm. I think I was two, two, 200 meters, mm. if not 200, yeah, 50. <clears throat> I turned around. I said, hey, Nina, hey, Nina, Zinja. Mm. One day, You'll come and watch me at Orlando Stadium. Oh, wow. I'd said that. Yeah. I, I don't know why I said that. Mm. said, no problem. Take those things. Yeah. But one day you'll pay. And I walked. When I got there, Rudolf Siale, my mm. teammate, sure. borrowed me. He did it. I got right. I got left. I got left. I got left. I got So in essence, I'm trying to say, things don't just happen. Mm -hmm. It's about the passion. Sure. The discipline you have. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe... Like you said, mm. if you didn't go mm. to DJ, mm. you wouldn't be where you are. <clears throat> mm. If I didn't follow my dreams and went to training after that disaster, I wouldn't have signed six months later. Mm. Then that's when I signed with Chiefs. And now you, <clears throat> now you want to show these guys. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, I was the wondering. Knee, the knee, the, yeah. 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 Wait, see, if only, if only there was a, a technology and on the and then Kibashi Ebora by almost standing. Because I don't know whether they were there or do they still remember what exactly. this is the boy yeah. eradicating all those things, you know? 1987. Sure. You've signed uh, with Kaiser Chiefs um, the same week you sign. Yeah. You're playing the derby. Mm. Mm. Take us to that day of the derby. Here we are. It's a Wisa Spectacular. The tournament compromises of four teams. Yeah. Go Ellis Park. Ellis Park. Yeah. So it was Chiefs, Pirates, Cosmos, Swallows. Sure. But Chiefs were playing the second game mm. against Pirates. Sure. Now, we didn't go to camp mm. Friday. So they picked me up around 8 in the morning. No, it was 7 because we were playing at 12. Our pre-match meal was at 9. So how long did you train with the team before? Well, I trained Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> You know, you know, you know why um, it was it wasn't difficult for us. Mm. It's because they had a program mm. for 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 the academy players that are players that have identified for the senior team. Sure, we mm. Or will play maybe once a friendly with them, then go back. Mm. So they had a program like that. This is how Rudolf Sian and CMA Pink mm. and myself. We it's the list is endless. Mm. So that Saturday. Devonshire Hotel, Bramfante. Sure. This is where the team is like assembling. Mm. So, Prajos is fetching the boys from Soweto, all of that. Mm. So, from Deep Kluf, Manhattan CMA Peak. Mm. Then it's Tube, mm. it's Doctor. Mm. Then Rir, Mapet, Chipam Latit. Sure. You should have seen when Chipa was walking to the car. I was like, I was sitting at the back, like, I'm like, yo, yo, yo. And, and <laughs> fresh. <laughs> you were signed by Chiefs at the time where Chiefs 
was legendary. Yes, yes. Every player Every was player a Every player you think of. Tinejata. Tinejata. Ace Sichikole. Jack Chamangwane. Moren Samora Kuro. Max Maponya. And Skara Tito. Yes, yes. Yes. Chipa Mlatidi. Trevor Mtimkul. Wellington Manyati. And a child. Yes. I'm like, yo, goodness. And now we, yo. From there, we go for pick up and train. Trevor Mtimpulu, we go to Wellington Manyati. And then the last player, Aritzwa, it's Moran Samorakul. So, hey, we go into the hotel. I don't know much about the hotel. I know it's a hotel that people book to sleep. Sure. What happens? How? I don't know. Yeah. Hey, as we walk in, we go straight to this room mm. where there's food prepared. Sure. So not like, it's a separate room. Mm. It's only prepared for Kaiser Chiefs tea. Sure. And I'm wait. I'm I'm sitting down there now. There's mm. Tini Slaza in the room. Asian Trolling, all of them mm. relaxed. That time fresh. I didn't even eat at home. Ne? Mm. I'm looking at these guys. Our oh, Max Mule, our oh, two three items. That's it. What what? And I'm looking at this buffet. It no waste. These yeah. guys, they're wasting time. <laughs> in my <nurse. laughs> So fresh if. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, uh, our generation, you don't go and queue while the elders are there. Sure. You wait. You wait. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody told us. Sure. No. So, but it's because of the culture mm. and how we were brought up. Sure. So I had to wait mm -hmm. for the seniors for the little funny. Mm -hmm. After that, I went. So now there's oats in it. I don't know how, how what. I'm not too sure whether... Oats and eggs, one plate or what? I don't know. Mm, mm. And then I think teenage lads, I saw that, mm. you know, because I'm stuck there. And then he walks up to me and says, no, boy, don't worry. Everything that's yours, mm. you shouldn't have said that. You? What can you say? No, 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 no. go for it, boy. This is all yours. Sure. So this is in the morning. In the morning. Okay. Now na sekijela hori. Hey, while I'm sitting on the bench or to go upstairs, mm. Mm. at least I'm full. Sure. I then the late Dimitri again. Hey, guys, we can go, guys. I banke di peke convoy in this park. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Choka blocked. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will. We move the right again to the dressing room. <clears throat> uh, after five minutes, Ted claps his hands. Listen up, boys. Listen up. Listen up. Okay, this is how we're gonna start. Uh, William Shongwe, Trevor Timkulu, Howard Freeze. Are you expecting? To no, 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 no. I agree. I ate because now nah, I'll I'm, be on the bench. I'll not, no, even if I'm not on the bench, I'm yeah. upstairs. I'm sorted. I'm full. Yeah. And <laughs> 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 still a banana in yeah. the <laughs> Yeah. We did not kiss it. What what the creep? And the other fit us today. I'm the creep. So that we did not see it. Yeah. Do you like we did not see it? Did you cancel my plastic? Hey, fresh. Hey, this guy he goes on and on. Mm. Okay, with Central, it's City and Jack. Uh, Howard, left back, uh, right back, uh, Trevor Timkulu, William, Six, Doc Kumar. Got what? Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Obona. If you had a cell phone at the time, that time, who would you have called first? I would have called my mom. Mm. No, 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 for Nelal Oled, because even my mom, Friday, when they picked me up, he told Charles, please mm. tell the coach not to play my son. He's still skinny. They'll break him. <laughs> Don't play my son. Maybe after five months, yes. Yeah. Not today, please. Yeah. And I don't think Charles told the coach. So. Ted just threw me to the deep end. Yep. I was like, no ways. I was out of breath for a few minutes. Mm. And now they opened the back. Sure. They took out the Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is real. 
No. No, this is real. This is not a child. This is real. Yeah. So then, obviously, the senior players, they know their numbers. So, Number 11, they go mm. to teenage, short and strong mm. snitches. Him sitting there. Then Pratiki gives me number 16. So. When I started, I was using 16 mm. for two games. So. I think that Jay-Z was next to me for the good 20, 25 minutes. Mm. The guys were already ready. They singing in the dressing room. Mm. Kara, this is not for me. Sure. And no ways. Mm. Fresh, I don't, I don't think you understand what I'm talking about. That time, the first game, Swallows and Cosmos is finito. Mm. It's Chiefs and Pirates now. Sure. And underneath, remember the dressing room is underneath the... the, 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 the yes, the basement. Yeah. yeah. Shosholoza. Yeah. Vuvuzelas. Sure. Whistles. Mm. It, I'm like, yeah, no ways. I'm not going there. And then Bobby comes. Yeah. As young as he was mm. at the time. So Rabizana time. Mm. Time. Change. Change. So, so how old is Bobby at this time? Uh, Bobby probably 10 or 11. Oh, wow. Uh, he's still young. Mm. Yeah. Well, he, he, like my dad used to bring me to the stadium. Sure. So he, he came with his late brother, Tabu mm. and Prake. Sure. Say, because me and Bobby were close as uh, at an early age. Mm. So it's like, uh, come on, change, man. You can do this. Mm. Uh, my change. So sure. No bandage, nothing. Mm. Car, shin cuts. Car. And come on, boy. Pat me on the back. I know you. Mm. Do your thing. In fact, Bobby Are, as you walked onto the field, yeah. Are, he had tears in his eyes. Yes. At yes. the fact that the history yeah. is about to be made. Of course, yeah. yeah. Uh, I saw that because he was standing on my right. Mm. And when I looked at him, he just wiped wow. the tears, mm. you know? Mm. And I'm like, I wonder what, what's wrong. Mm. Uh, it, he only told me after the match. Sure. He said he couldn't believe that he made my dream come true. Sure. You know? Mm. And here I am, that derby, because as we were walking like that, it's only black and white there. Now, me, I would have cried and <laughs> run back. <laughs> that's what I wanted to do. That's what I'm asking you about. That's what I'm now, asking you about that. So, when we come out of the dressing room, we just line up underneath the by tunneling. Yeah. Now, the mesh commissioner come, he walks up, he, get, he asks for the two captains. Mm. Then he gives them the bad news to say the game has been delayed for 10 minutes because sure. there are a lot of people out there. Mm. But we can't go back to the dressing room. Mm. But ah, here's a chance. Mm. And I was probably number two from, yeah, yeah, from, yeah, from the last. I, yeah. So I'm like, uh, uh, Bryce, yeah, sir, sir, toilet, you know, the place. Mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, Ruta next move. Yeah. We want to run away. <laughs> We're going in there. Listen, it's my price. Now, here's a, here's a big player. Yeah. He tells me, Oh, Hori, what I saw at training was phenomenal. Yeah. You are an unbelievable breed. Just go out there and showcase your talent, boy. Don't be scared. Hey! And at that time, the Shebile Pirates, Manda Sitoni, Nick Sishuin, these guys, I used to see them on TV. So, yo, carry your business team camp, Bashin Matlangu. So, so basically, yeah. the starting 22 was you and a bunch of legends in the making. Yes. I was actually the youngest. Yeah. Is that Linda? So. That game. And now I understand what legendary status mean. Mm. A big temperamental game like mm. that. So. And all of us on the field, mm. surrounded by great players. Mm. I sat back, I'm like, wow. Yeah. Oh. Mm. I made it because I was surrounded by the best. Mm. But then I didn't know. Exactly. Because then Undwan and Jay, Undwan. Yeah, I yeah. mean, teenage took care of me at the hotel. Sure. Ace took care of me when 
the least was expected out of him because now I was going back home. Mm. I don't care. So you were ready to leave? Ah, uh, fresh. Ah, na na na. No, good. Kenya trip. Shoot more demand. Yeah, more. No, but when I Kenya get to put more, more daddy, more, more taxi. Yeah. Because Ellis Park is not far from Commissioner Street. Exactly. Yeah, I'll just walk off like here. Yeah. Yeah, come back here too. Ah, never but some go. Ah, he said, no, you're not going in. Now, my career was saved by the legend. Sure. Because I was scared. Mm. Freshy, like you. I mean, when I maybe speak to right day, it was packed. But with me, it's 90,000. Mm. And plus... Yeah, no, no, with me, it's just 200 high school kids. Yeah. So I didn't... Know, have, I like but I, no, but still, it's a pleasure because yeah. it's crowded. You know, that, that crowd is not a problem. Sure. People don't understand. If you can make it, or face it a lot of people, sure. that's easy. That game, I think something shifted mm. in terms of realizing that there's a star in the making here. When did you realize that you shifted things? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I realized when I was summoned to the office of mm. the chairman. Mm. For the first time, I went to the office at chairman. Remember the first time I went to the office when I signed it? Sign, yes. Now, three years later, if not two years later, I was summoned to his office. It was for the second time now, mm. me being in the office of president, mm. yeah, chairman. Mm. The reason being that we played a game in Devon against Amazulu. Mm. There were no late flights. Sure. So if your game finishes half past five, five, so you have to wait. You're stuck. You're stuck there. Yeah. So you sleep yeah. over. Mm. So we went out to a party. Uh, then we were given micro prices. Mm. Uh, mm. No and <clears throat> until the security chiefs do see taking notes, they should be less old. They're watching. They're watching. Now, our flight back home to Joburg was at 8. Mm. So we need to be at the airport at 7 because we are a group. Mm. I woke up at 10 to 7. Yeah. And they tried knocking and knocking. Mm. In my, in my, in my uh, bedroom, in my room, it was packed. We let my pants go right. Mm. I'm the I'm the superstar. Yeah. Believe it or not, <clears throat> I woke up, trip suit back up, a trip suit, mm. back, toilet trip in the back, boom, mm. went straight to the bus. Seven o'clock I was in the bus. We, we managed, but to make an eight o'clock flight. Got mm. in the base in the, in the, in the airport. Mm. Monday, after training, then the, the show show the security achieves. Mm. Uh, the chairman wants to see you up there. I went. Mm. I thought he was going to congratulate me for the game and all that. He sat me down. <clears throat> and he said to me, God gave you the talent. Mm. But if you're not going to utilize it, mm. the talent will carry the bags and walk out of the door. Sure. And you will never gain seat. Mm. Entertainment is always there. Sure. You can bet with me now. Mm. Your career can stop because of what you're doing, but sure. entertainment will always be there. Mm. So, you're the greatest, you're the one of the best players we have ever produced, the Chiefs. Mm. I've been in a situation. Don't. Mm. Give me 10 years of your life, mm. build a brand. I'm like, 10 years? <laughs> 10? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 10 mm. years? Mm. I'm only two years in the industry. Sure. Ten, mm. Gara, ha, ha. how am I going to do this? So, sure. about walk out, walk out of my daddy. Mm. Ten years, give me a brand. So, sure. it took me a month to understand, but I had to consult. So, sure. what does this mean? Mm. This is when I realized, Hore, I'm something. So, sure. I didn't know. Mm. That meeting is the one that shaped me. So, sure. that meeting is the one that. Taught me or showed me the way, Hori. You are one of the best at Kaiser Chiefs. So, I remember 2003, four, interviewed Jabo Pule when I was still at YFM. Yeah. <coughs> uh, before he became Mashangu. Yes. And he spoke about losing his way. Okay. The parties, the drugs, uh, going to Bloemfontein. Yes, yeah. And just how he lost his way. Yeah, because of lack of yes. focus, yeah. because yeah. of lack of discipline. Mm -hmm. 
what's the closest you came in hindsight what's mm. the closest you've come to losing it all at your young age at my living yeah mm. and um it's when i thought earning a lot of money mm. while i'm still at in metric and what's a lot of money give us an uh, idea what we're we talking you? eight eight thousand mm. then yeah that was a lot of money that yeah, was a lot of money yes yes so when my parents said to me the unfortunate part i might have signed for kaiser chiefs and the people are celebrating what i'm doing on the field mm. but it's, it's different in his house in their so, house mm. it's still six you're, o'clock you're still out you, yeah, you must report six o'clock Wherever you go, whoever you go with must come and tell us. No, no booths, no women, nothing. So when the chairman told me about this, and remember said, you go, you go outside, then Transvaal, you go to Natal. Mm. And the amount of appreciation mm. from females, so, unbelievable. Exactly. That was my problem. Mm. And when the chairman reprimanded me, mm. that's when I, I, I looked back and I, I looked at myself in the mirror. I was like, 10 years, entertainment will always be there. Sure. Women will always be there. Mm. Make a decision. Sure. Because you can advise, mm. but the person who's being advised is the one that determines mm. or paves his own way. Mm. So I, I decided to change because that would have been my downfall. Sure. Because thinking I'm good looking, uh, I play uh, better football, people appreciate me because mm. it took two months for Kaiser Chief supporters to know who I am. Sure. Or, but if I don't change, mm. then I'm going to kiss my career goodbye. Because you kissed the girl. <laughs> I remember 1992-93 yeah Chiefs and Pirates were in Botswana yes and where now later were Homuloi where the yes, yes you guys were the heartbreakers yeah <laughs> and I remember at my university the girls were carrying on well whole week the Dr. Kumalo is going to be in town the yeah, Homuloi is going to be in town and I <laughs> I hate these guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know the funniest part? Yeah. Uh, we were friends. We, we knew each other before Tosai. Sure. But after uh, Tosai, I was also reprimanded by Ole Kokichini. Sure. Now it's time for you to tell your friends that you grew up with. Thank you very much. They are no longer going to be your friends. Kanja mm. and because I wanted to understand. No. Why am I just. But. Sure. They don't play soccer. Mm. They are not anywhere closer to sports. Mm. So what they are going to be doing is going to be opposite from what you are doing. Sure. So you need to get people that think, eat, sleep, soccer. Mm. This is how we became friends in Tebo. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. Very close. Mm. You know, if it's chiefs and pirates, mm. we'll go to the same uh, headdresser, a sure. Now, one of people's lasting memories of you, Doc, yes. is the fact that Whenever you had the ball, we knew magic was going to happen. Yeah. Like, yeah, no doubt. Yes. We knew magic was going to happen. But unfortunately, a lot of especially foreign coaches yeah. try and discourage us from playing yes. that play. But the late Clive Barker allowed you that. Yes. Definitely. Tell us about that. It's true what you're saying, uh, Freshie, because I, I was the victim of that. Mm. Because Jeff Butler, may his soul rest in peace, um, had a go at me, Red Alley Celtics mm. semi final. It was PP top eight, mm. and Celtics were leading one nil. Mm. Uh, and he told me that I mustn't bring the soy to start here. Mm. And he said, I remember vividly. Mm. He said, Sunny, I mean, it, it's so, so humid in Devon, you know. Mm. We wet, and I'm, I'm like trying, struggling to take off the shirt because of the sweat, mm -hmm. you know, because it's so, so. 
As I was like relaxing, mm. uh, his face was here. Mm. Sunny, this is not so edgy. And he, he liked to use the F word. Mm. You don't fucking come and play the way you want. You'll play the way Kaiser Chiefs want. Mm. This is not so edgy. Don't. I just stood up mm. with my soccer jersey here. Sure. The directors were all there. Mm. Mr. Rata Mkwetlin, Bob China Ngema, the late Prake mm. were there. Mm. The showers didn't move. Mm. I took the cheese from Latin I go and I was like, I'll go play then. Mm. Okay, Nada. Yo. Got a shower, couple of meets. As I was about to take off my daddy, Bobby walked in the shower with mm. Kadi Clea Parolubo Ace. Mm. Funny enough, Ted, I mean, uh, uh, Jeff, Jeff uh, Butler never said, okay, we, we, we change your it's a sum. No. Mm. He just spoke to the guys and then he went on, he went back to the field. Yeah. So I was giving my shirt and I'm wet now, but it's okay because mm. obviously it's hot. So sure. Went in there. Remember, we <clears throat> one goal down. Mm. As I was about, actually, I was, yeah, walking out of that and Rivera started game. So I just walked in mm. <clears throat> on the field. First, first touch. Mm. I dribble past four defenders. Chaser. I pass Max. Mm. I score a one-one. Yep. I looked at the bench, mm. clapping. Yeah. I'm like, Kanti, what's going on? Mm. Because this man got furious because Kishaile show me your number so, three times. Yeah. And when I played the ball, Shane McGregor had already like gave a gave up or no. Yeah. This. <laughs> so this is why he was shouting at me. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, so I can't express myself. Fresh, I'm not the fastest of them all. I, yeah. I, 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 you know, I, I didn't have speed, but mm. in possession of the ball, I had speed. Yeah. And I can only dribble pass mm. if I'm coming at you with the ball on sure. my feet. Yeah. But if it happens that... I have to eliminate you, use my tricks. I have to do that because sure. that's my weapon. Exactly. But he, he didn't want that. Mm. What you are saying, foreign didn't like mm. our flair. Sure. The third goal, mm. I dribbled past two defenders and the keeper and I scored. Sure. End of the match, 3,000 men of the match. Mm. So I need to imagine you being interviewed sure. and then they will present you with the dummy check and mm. all those things. I walk in the petty check uh, in the envelope, and then the, that big that he hit me. I uh, said, "Well done, Sunny. <laughs> you must buy me a, a beer at the hotel." And the airport was like, "What? Me <laughs> buy you?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "He's crazy." We fed some chicken. Then the next thing came with a three thousand. We go regularly pay. So when you look at a Clive Parker, yes. Is a South African. May his soul rest in peace. Yeah, may his soul rest in peace. Mm. When you look at Clive Parker, he's a South African that understood not only how players play, mm. he understood the culture. This is the most important part where people don't understand. They think a coach just do things haphazardly. No, that's not the case. Clive knew the culture as a South African. Mm. He knew how to talk or how to address shoes. Sure. May his soul rest in peace. How mm. to address Tovi, mm. how to address doctor, how to address a collective mm. team. He knew that. He can't say to Tovi, you've got it, boy. Dance for me. He can't say that to Tovi. Mm. He's got a, a, another way of talking to Mercedes Benz. Sure. Uh, Tinkler. Mm. But with shoes and me, it was different. Sure. He would say, you can see it's, it's tough. Now we need you. Mm. Dance, boy. Yeah. So when he says dance, he says, go for them, dribble them. Sure. So he said, frustrate them. Frustrate them. Yeah. Dance. Yeah. And there's one game that I never thought Clive would say this to me mm. against Germany. Uh, so, 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 Coach Clive, sorry to inter yeah. interrupt. Coach Clive, he knew how to activate you. Yeah. Yeah. No, he knew. Yeah. He knew very, very, very well. He knew, you know, because, like I said, Clive knew the culture, mm. the norms. <clears throat> That game here at Germany, mm. it was 0-0. Zero, zero. And Germany brought a full squad. Klinsmann, mm. Muller, all of them. Mm. Hey, and you were cheeky. That guy, <laughs> you're, you're, no, because Clive, <laughs> Clive is, as we were walking second half, for the second half, yeah. Clive walked up to me, Are, 
Um, Doc, this Germans back four is difficult for us to break through. Yeah. Dance boy. Sure. If if we can just put one ball under the legs, yeah. the crowd will be behind. I did that. Yeah. Yes. yes. Jobek Stadium erupted in foot. Yeah. And then the drive was like, well done, go, go. Yeah. And we should have scored three or two yeah. chances. Mm. But uh, Clive had a way of getting me mm. to dribble, to Absolutely. make things happen. Absolutely. The, the beauty about the whole thing also, or what I can say again, is that if you look at the finals, the AFCON, mm. it was Clive influence. Sure. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Because Tunisian had a plan. They minimized shoes. Sure. They laid season down. Mm. Uh, fish. Then they didn't they didn't uh, assign any player to me. Mm. So Clive said, "Okay, Eriro to say from the right, come inside, do your thing." This is when we scored two goals. Yes, yes. Mm. So what you are saying is very true. Clive knew how to utilize my talent. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what do you miss about Coach Clive? Uh, what I miss about Clive. It's another father that I had that I didn't know. Mm. I had a father, irrespective of the kind of, but uh, how life was. Mm. And he loved you guys? Uh, very, mm. very much. Um, it's very it's very scarce you find a coach when you report for camp. Mm. As you signing into your room there, OT, how's the family? Uh, uh, please say happy birthday to your mom. Um, how does he know it's my mom's birthday? Mm. Mm. So... These are small and other things that he used to do that I kept myself asking myself, mm. how did you know? He, he gave it them. Well, I understand. Mm. And now, a, a person that does that, he's building a foundation in your heart. So sure. He's starting to, to, like, do something inside you, you know? Was Clive Barker given a road deal? Yeah. Mm. Clive was given a road deal. <clears throat> Fresh, I've never been in the national team or maybe like Jeff Butler. Mm. He used to say, for this year, I want us when we're halfway, give me 29 points. Mm. And then the second phase, give me 30, we'll win the league. Mm. But life, mm. in 95, he said... He wants to win the Africa Cup of Nations. Mm. And he wants to qualify for France 98. Mm. We all looked at him and was like, he's life mad. What? France 98? Mm. Yeah, maybe to qualify for AFCON. It's okay. Sure. And each and every game we had, because what, we, what made us strong was the four nation tournaments that we were playing in South Africa. Sure. So Clive will always say, vision yourself, guys. Mm. Singing that national anthem in France, in f- uh, no, mm. the Afcon, oh, in Afcon. full view mm. of the South Africans and with the flag, and we're like, what is this old man talking about? Mm. We're still playing the the, the knockout stages. Mm. So when we won against Madagascar, we were told that Kenya we threw. True. So now we're going to be hosting, but we have already qualified. Yeah. Then he won it. 96. Yeah. And then when we were preparing for France, yeah. I remember what the last game at Ellis Park. If you remember the goal Masinga scored, and then he went like that. Was that the Congo game? The Congo game. In fact, Brafil Masinga scored. May he yes. so rest in peace. Yes. But you had a chance to, to take the shot. Yes. Why were you not selfish? Because you could have taken the shot. I could have, You yes. could have scored the yes, goal. Yes, I could have, yeah. But you still <laughs> gave, I gave it, it I gave it to Phil, to, yes. to, 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 to Phil. Why, why did you do that? I did that because Phil was, I think, three, four steps or meters ahead of me. Mm, yeah. I would have gone easily and dribbled the keep and scored the ball. Sure. But I decided to lay it, then mm. I made the run. Sure. And as I was running... What did you say to Phil? <laughs> I I fresh I no man I I What did you say to Phil as you <laughs> Phil So now 
as Phil I passed the ball to Phil now the defender is going towards Phil yeah Phil was supposed to lay it in yeah. order for me yeah to finish so now Phil is like one step two step and I'm running I say Phil I was swearing at him. Chepa! Pa! Someone can write him. They were not a Chepa! 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 And at that time, I don't think he could hear me because yeah. the stadium loaner is. It was bad, it was. I need some rock. Obuna, it's a higher deep R. Yeah. I share. Yeah. And then I can rush the side net. So, I do be lame. Yeah. Ooh. No, it was a bang of a goal. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. From foot set to well done, goal, well done, son. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> but before you guys <laughs> even qualified for France night, yeah, France night eight. Um, after that uh, fantastic goal, yeah, yeah, yeah field, you guys also went through a tough patch. Yeah, where you were losing. I think you lost to Zim four nil. Uh, Was it four nil? And Nigeria four. also. My Mexico. You, you you became known as the four, four by, by four because <laughs> <laughs> you're losing four, uh, four, 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 four. <clears throat> what does a bad spell like that do for team yeah. morale and for you personally when it's happening? I think I think what uh, let us down. We sure. thought we will beat us. Sure. Because domestically. Each and every game, it was always packed. Yes. We would uh, do what we think is best for us. Mm. But only to find that international is different. Sure. Because those 4-4, four, four, it was after we admitted back to FIFA. Mm. When we looked at the Zimbabwe national team training Friday, mm. and the game was Saturday. So we 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 done with our session. Then they came in Cabo 12, so Rabbi Shebel. So we saw this young boy, Unzamata, with the... Uh, the knee heavily strapped, mm. and uh, we were like, "Who's that?" And that was Peter Dove. So sure. he just came back from Coventry. Mm. It's like ah, so Spears like and screaming, ah, this is Zimbabwean. Mm. Look at the training kit, ah, hey, French, mm. hey, 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 hey. Mm. Saturday, yeah, uh, we saw flame, yeah, but four, yeah. But as I know, hardy, hardy, gents, hardy, hardy. We went to Nigeria. Mm. Unfortunately, against Nigeria, I couldn't play. I got injured sure. three days before, but I flew with them. Mm. Another four. We got there, Rashid Yakini, JJ Okocha, Stephen Kishi, because in the lift. Mm. So in Nigeria, and in Sheraton, mm. it was us, and then Nigeria, uh, players that are playing overseas. Ah, yes. Yeah, those who are playing local, they were camping somewhere. Mm-hmm. So in the lift, myself, Ace Kuse, uh, Bennett Masinga, may soul rest in peace. Mm-hmm. So we will probably 10th floor. I lived there 6th floor. Mm-hmm. Hey, this giant guy, no, I can't move. Yeah. That was Keishi. <laughs> and I was like, he's wearing like a little vest, a little yeah. short, yeah, yeah. Nigeria. Yeah. So as the lift is going down, he presses ground because they also going to have breakfast. Yeah. He's asking Bennett Massing, are you also a player? <laughs> 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 and Fresh, he's looking at him like that. Yeah. He says, are you also a player? Yeah. Bennett says, eh, Muto Yeah, what do you think I'm a player? <laughs> and Stephen Cash is like, oh, I thought you were a ball boy. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys, the back four. Yeah. Or they were like, yeah. No, they're, 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 they're buildings. No, this is when we 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 we, we told ourselves that clearly we don't know nothing about international arena. So, sure, sure. we only know domestic mm. because that body for sure. Tina wouldn't have worked mm. for domestic sure. games. Mm. So we petit mm. and want to dribble, mm. and that's it for us. Those mm. guys, they're big, physical, and they they do their thing. Mm. So. We only understood after the four by fours. Sure. Hence, that's the reason why the '96 squad mm-hmm. was victorious because what we learned. Ah, yes. So eighty percent of the squad from '92 to '96 mm-hmm. were kept. Sure. So you went from losing four four by four to performing like a four by four. Yeah, to yeah. performing like a four by four and being number one for the first time in the history of South Africa in exactly. the, in Africa. Mm-hmm. And in in four years. Sure. We managed to be the champions of Africa. Mm. In four years, sure, we became the champions of Africa. 
current Bafana at, at this previous uh, Afcon? Afcon. What are your thoughts? Mm. The previous uh, Afcon, well played, boys. Uh, they've done very well. I think um, it would have been much better if the PSL teams mm. had to be same level as Sundowns. Sure. Because Sundowns were dominant. Mm. If you look at the team that played there, 90% was Sundowns. It was Sundowns. Yeah. If not, let's say 98% was mm. Sundowns. It's mm. only Makupa, Stole, mm. and Dow. Three. Sure. The rest are Sundowns. Mm. So, am I correct if we, I say we were what, living in the shadow of Sundowns? Was the coach right to the law? to pick the team as he did? Or should he, he have looked at other yeah. teams? <laughs> I think he was right. Because mm. remember Sundowns, they've got a pedigree in terms of playing in the Champions League. Sure. And they've won it. They've, they've been in so many games of the Champions League. Okay, when I, when I this, this is the guys that mm. understand what does it take to play under a serious crowd, mm. under pressure. Mm. And there they are. Sure. It has proven to us. Mm. So Uchori, if only the other 15 teams can do exactly what Sundown just do. We'll have a, a stronger national team. What's the problem? Is it a money problem? Is it a management problem? Is it a grassroots are not doing enough problem? Yeah, no. How, how now, do we fix it? Now, 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 let's leave the money and everything. Mm. I like when you say grassroots. Mm. The development stages for so many teams are not accurate. Mm. We sign because we want to please the supporters, or we sign just to close the gap. Sure. We don't look at the needs of the team. Mm. This is what Sundowns doing. Mm. They don't just sign a player. They sign a player because they want to use him for, for, for certain things. Banale plan. Banale plan. Mm. So now, this is good what you say. Sundowns has a plan. Mm. Sundowns, they don't now sign players for PSL. Mm. They sign players that can take them to Club World Cup. Sure. So if Sundowns silly moly, mm. What about other teams? Mm. They are hardly not winning trophies. Mm. They are hardly not being in the top eight for that mm. matter. But they are always in the league. Mm. So it's just to add numbers. Mm. Yeah. And we're not scoring goals. We're not scoring goals. Uh, foreigners are the ones that are taking uh, the, mm. the, 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 the trophies that are goal scorer of the year and so that... Shalulile has been here in the country for quite some time, mm. but it's only when it was at Sundowns that he's doing well. Yeah. One of the reasons I will watch the Premier Soccer League, yeah, even if it's teams I don't support yes, or like, yeah. yes, I will watch because I know there'll be a festival of goals. Thank you. Yes, festival of goals. So I never miss. If there's a match yes. TV, I will sit and watch it and watch it because yes. I know there will be. You know what you are saying. Somebody mm. asked me that question as I was watching West Ham last night, mm. and he's like. And West Ham, who are they? I was like, mm. it's the oldest team uh, in the EPL. Sure. But you, you're not supporting them. You're supporting Man Manchester United. Mm. I'm like, no, 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 no. Mm. It's not about Manchester. Any friend, uh, any game, yeah, EPL, mm. is worth watching. It's worth watching. It's worth watching. Mm. Yes. And uh, 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 it's true what you're saying. It's mm. worth watching. But can we say the same? Sure. A, no, we can't. Mm. No. Certainly not. That's a, that's a sad note. Because remember, uh, Freshy, if we don't get more clubs that can give us national team players, mm. we're going to struggle. Sure. Yeah. How are Safa performing? Look, Safa is, is facing its own problems. Mm. They, they, they need to get their house in order. Mm. Um, but we've been saying that for 20 years. We've been saying that for years. Mm. Yeah. But uh, if I were Safa, I wouldn't take this as a, as a compliment for us to get that position. Mm. So it took you 28 years right. to get this position. Mm. So the problem is that politics, jealous ego, mm. is the one that actually let our football down. Mm. And what I'm trying to say is that let's not look at only on the field. Mm. Let's look at the, the main cause of the whole thing. Sure. We don't have plans. We don't have a scouting a team that will go out there, report back to the coach to say this player is okay. Mm. We only hear about, <clears throat> excuse me, Lyle Foster's case when we're preparing already for, for, for Ivory Coast. Mm. If only we had people who visited those players. I have finger on the power. Yeah, I want to understand. Yes, yeah, because I could, you know, okay, in, in, in Belgium, that's fresh. Sure. Let me go talk to the team mm. uh, coach to say, how is he? Mm. Then you would have given, they would have given us 
if you had a problem mm. and try to resolve it to the side. So we can't resolve problems because we only want to deal with them at hand. So these are the things that a good uh, association must do. Sure. Um, Barry, we're out of time. We're, like, we're running out of time, okay. so we'll, we'll wrap it up, Nyana, yeah. and then we'll bring you back for part two because, sure. um, <laughs> because we must have a part two and a part three. So after Coach Barker was laid to rest, um, I remember hearing uh, you on Andilin Mube show, yeah, and you spoke about how um, in his last moments yes. when you went to visit um, uh, Clive Barker that he apologized to you yeah. guys mm. for abandoning you yes. in four months. Yes. Uh, please tell us more about that. So um, when I went to visit Coach Kaif mm. uh, in Devon at home while he was still sick, um, first he, he, he struggled a little bit to, to see it was me. Mm. And when I kept on talking, he's like... Hey, doggies, hey, doggies, mm. it's you. Mm. Oh, come here, son, come here. Because life will always kiss me, mm. you know, and hug me, hold me. Mm. And I could feel that strength, Sauhaga, is no longer there. Mm. Because always this is how he used to greet me. True. And he says, eh, where's fish? Eh, Andre, eh, where's, sho eh, where's shoes? Yeah. I said, need this. Mm. Uh, Caesar, is he okay? And is David playing again? Mm. I was like, hey, 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 hey. It was bad. Now, how, how am I going to address this? I said, no, the boys are okay, Clive. Mm. He said, uh, just do me a favor. I know what I did after Saudi Arabia. I resigned while we were on, uh, in the flight. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, we were flying back mm. uh, to South Africa. Because Clive was sitting business class, so... We were in the economy, but it was empty. Mm -hmm. And he woke up to us. He said, guys, thank you very much for everything you've done for me. I've just sent it my resignation. So this is before France? Yeah. Mm. So, and Cizre was like, no, coach, you can't do that. Mm. No, coach, you still have to uh, take us to France, all that. He says, no, we'll talk. And when we got here, we never had a chance. Mm. He never had a chance to address us. Mm. And then he left. So I thought he felt the need because I was there. Do you understand why he resigned? I, you know, till today, fresh. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know why Clive asked me to tell the boys that he's sorry about what he has done. He mm -hmm. let us down. Mm -hmm. If he was there, France, we would have probably gone to the semis. Sure. I was like semis. Mm -hmm. I was like, he says, yeah, I had the best team. Mm -hmm. My boys were the best. Yeah, a, a little blind, blind, blind. So Clive said those things. Mm. My boys were the best. Mm. I let you guys down. We would have been s second or third in France. Mm. We won it. Nobody gave us a chance. Mm. I, he said those things. And now, you know, I nearly cried, but I had to, like, be strong for Clive. Mm. So till today, I haven't told the boys that Clive said he's sorry. Mm. Well, now they know. Now they know. Thanks to you. Thanks to you, Fresh. Thanks mm. to you. Yeah, now they know. But he did say he's sorry. But then the other sorry that I need to mention. Mm. Clive said I must tell the South Africans that he's sorry substituted me when we played Brazil. Please forgive him. We all stood up and said... <laughs> ah. So it's for the first time I'm relating this one. Mm. So he asked me, to, to, to ask the South Africans to forgive him. Why did you not refuse? Me and I would have... Uh, no, uh, that's, <laughs> that, that's, that, that's, that's not good to ill-discipline. No. And you know, you guys were going toe-to-toe -to -toe yes, with Brazil. Definitely. I actually, mean, actually, to be honest, uh, they just gave out the whole body. They were going to equalize. Yes. Because if you look at the first five minutes... Mm. It was Alde and uh, the. It was Alde. I forgot the other player. Mm. They, I had two players now who were shadow marking me. Sure. Because then. When yeah, but when Clive pulled me, look mm. at the the clip. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Brazil, South Africa. Brazil. When they shot fifteen, Zadalo himself and the mm. bench, they stood up and they clapped. Mm. They said thank you. <laughs> no, yeah, because, yeah, because they because could tell. Uh, you they, gave them sleepless nights yes, on the field. On the field, yes. So after that, they scored three goals. Had you not been substituted, what do you think the score could have possibly been? Uh, probably would have beaten them 3-1. Mm. Yeah. 
because when I was still on the field, they were not focusing on going forward. They wanted to stop. They wanted to stop <laughs> the 15, not three. So after they substituted me, then they started going forward. Sure. If you remember, mm. the three dangerous boys never crossed the line. I mean, the halfway line. They were staying in the side of South Africa. Mm. And when they played the ball to Pebeto, yeah. it was always a dangerous sure. uh, that attack. Mm. So for me to be substituted, uh, I was actually making Zagalo to tell the boys to go. Mm. Yeah? How did you feel walking off the field? Well, I was okay mm. because we were leading 2-0. I was okay. But if we were losing, I was going to be like, ah, Clive, what, what do you do? But 2-0, mm. mm. I was like, oh, this is a wrap. Mm. But only to find that oh no, wait, these guys were like mm. coming at us. Sure. Yeah. Like I said, we are out of time. Sure. Um, I still have a million. Qu- I still have to st- open my prep. I actually haven't used my prep. <laughs> oh no. What is Doctor Kumalo currently up to? What are you doing? What are you? Oh concerned? okay. Um, currently, I have a, a, a soccer tournament in Dubai. Yes, sir. Uh, just to plow back mm. and see. To all the people in Dubai, so we to thank you very much for the support. Sure. So it's an under 15, 17, 19, mm-hmm. both netball and soccer. Okay. So uh, my main tournament is in August, but then now I'm, I'm doing another tournament in March mm-hmm. for the champions playing the select. Okay. So what's the difference? The one that is played now, it's for champions. Okay. Against the select. Okay. So the prize money, it's a winner takes all, goes to the players. So how much is the prize money? Uh, I'm not sure how much is it, but mm. it's plus thousands. Okay. okay. And uh, in August, we pay the teams. So. Sure. So this one is just to give it to the players, mm. you know, mm. and uh, more benefits from my sponsors and everybody that will be involved, mm. uh, external stakeholders. I'm also a 10 bet uh, ambassador. I have my own academy. Mm. Yeah, there's so much that I'm still. So, how do we get into academy? If I need uh, at the moment, uh, I'm still on hold yeah. because uh, I'm looking at the bigger picture mm. for it to to be attracting kids from all over Africa. Mm. But this one will be probably needing six chairs. Sure. And I'll make it a point that you are the first person for us to unveil this baby I'll to be you. There. I'll be there. So. Justin J. Klims, myself, Tovi, uh, Lucas, Sean Bartlett, Gavin Hunt. Mm. Wow. So, when I say we're ready, mm. you must prepare because I'm the first, it's for the first time I'm not revealing this, mm. but it's, it's still crawling. Sure. And whenever now we sort it and say it's strong mm-hmm. and we'll say fresh, this is our idea, this yes. is what we want to do. Let's go. Please. Mm. Tell your team to give us extra time because where people be soak, sure. there must be extra time. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, no, definitely we'll, we'll come to your show and uh, <clears throat> reveal to you what exactly we want to do. It's a legacy project. Let me leave it like that. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Speaking of legacy, <clears throat> do you ever wonder how your life and your fortunes would have turned out? had pirates beat chiefs to signing you when you were 16? Oh, fresh marawonka. No, man, that's a difficult question. <laughs> uh, I think probably it would have been the same thing mm-hmm. because uh, the same values that I get at chiefs is the same that I would expect to get at pirates. Mm-hmm. And to be precise... Yeah, but now I, teams would have to stop you and the Wohomoloi. Yeah, time. at the same time, yeah. But having said that, mm. um, being a Kaiser Chiefs legend or a player, former player, mm. I happen to to have people that have embraced my career. Sure. Dr. Ivan Koza. Um, Paris played a major role mm. in terms of shaping me up. Um oh. It's not, it's not, I know a lot of people don't understand and probably they think this one is mad. No, but also, without a strong opponent, yeah. you can't be great. You can't be great. You'll never know how great you'll you are. You'll never know, is it? Thank you. Until you've had a strong opponent. Yes, thank you. Until mm. you have a strong opponent. There's a situation that nobody knows about it. Mm. We played the last qualifier, DR Kong, where Kashapa Utikadi Vulava, let's say four. Yo. Then I crossed, <laughs> then my singer scored. Yes. Prior to that game, as we were walking, mm-hmm. the, 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 
Bafana Baba Ambassadors there. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Ivan Koza stopped me. Mm. Sure. I know it's, I'm going to ask you a difficult thing. Mm. I'm like, hey, the chairman of Atlanta. Mm. I had to take South Africa to France, Carol. What? Yeah. Oh. I had to take South Africa to France. Yeah. You're the only player that I can talk to. Sure. Fresh. When I walked in there, yeah. they were singing the Zaire national anthem. Sure. I think my shirt had yeah, that game till today. Maybe it is so. Yeah. Because my heart was doing like this. True. How can a man of stature like Dr. Ivan Koza yeah. ask me? such a, a mission mm. just seconds before the kickoff. Yeah. He didn't say take me. Yeah. He said take South Africa to France. Yeah. And you must remember I didn't play mm. a game before the one that is asking me this mm. in, in Zambia. They lost 2-0. Mm. I scored the first goal mm. and I created the second goal. Mm. After the game he was just waiting for me. He just did this. Sure. And he hugged me. Mm. He said thank you my boy. Yeah. I was like wow. Wow. Mm. Said, I knew yeah. you are the only one who can listen and understand me. Yeah. <laughs> Doc, we could listen to you talk yeah. the whole day. Sure. And the reason I enjoy talking to you is because you're a storyteller. You have stories for days. Sure. And uh, we're hoping one day your life will be not even a movie. It needs to be like a, a series. Yes, yes. With yes. like 10 seasons. Eight seasons, yeah. So, so that we can see the life and times of Doc. Yes. But personally for me, yeah. a part of me is sad that you were great at the time you were great. Yeah. I feel the world deserves to see you at your peak yeah. over the past 10 years. Yes. I feel the world has been robbed of your talent simply because you were born 20 years earlier. Yes, no, definitely. And I, I always wonder <laughs> if Doc was born just 10 or 20 years later. Yes, Two billion more people would have experienced your, your greatness. Ah, uh, easy. You know what easy. I mean? Yeah, but as you say, we, we will appreciate thank you, you. Um, for it too. Thanks for being an inspiration. Thank you. A beacon of hope for, to this day, a lot of kids out there. And I'm hoping that we don't sleep on your greatness. We don't sleep on your legacy. Yeah. And that we don't look back one day and say, but did we do enough to appreciate this man? Okay. That's why we have you here today. Thank you. Just to remind you that you still kick ass to this day. Thank you. Thank you. And around nine. Thank you, Mati. I really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Chef Mati. He'll be back for part two. Dr. Kumalo is about to take a, take a ball <laughs> out of here. <laughs> now, a number of males may have been dreading February. Maybe due to the cost factor of the 14th. Maybe due to commitment issues. However, for those who are starting to relax, don't forget, this is a leap year. So in this week, that is that extra day of the year when women do the proposing. We wish you luck, or at least realization of your love. And to everyone else, hope you make the most of the extra time that February is giving us. Hope you all have a wow week ahead. Coming to you from Ant Studios, downtown Josie. We're part of the Africa Podcast Network. Shout out to Works for the cinematography. Our audio imaging um, is done by Otis the Flo Fraser. And of course, our two guests today, Abuti Lolo and Dr. Kumalo. Creative producer, Kuvesh Mohan. Show producer, Kelis Omudisa King. Email us at waw at africapodcastnetwork.com. Till next week, have a great week in spite of yourselves.